Happy Easter! Today we celebrate that Jesus is alive. Easter baskets are really fun, but we have something much more important to talk about. Before Easter, something very sad happened to Jesus. Soldiers beat him, nailed him to a cross, and he died. Let's see what happened in the Bible. I'm going to the book of Matthew, chapter 27, and starting at verse 62. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. Remember, the Pharisees didn't like Jesus because they start, people started listening to Jesus instead of to them. So give the order for the tomb, that's the cave where people got buried in. Give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, the disciples will come and steal the body and tell the people that he's been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. Mr. Jason will help us model what they did. Here is Jesus. First, he was wrapped in his grave clothes. Next, he was put in a tomb. That's one of those caves inside of a hill. Then they had a very big stone rolled in front of the cave. They were still worried, so they made sure it was guarded so that no one could come and take his body. Let's read what it says in the Bible. I'm in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 4. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. So, let's go back to our model. With the earthquake, the big strong guards shook and were terrified. Jesus' friends looked for him, but he was not there. So now the guards are gone. The stone is rolled away. Let's look. There's his grave clothes, but if we look closer... He's not in them. Oh my goodness. Jesus didn't need grave clothes anymore. He had left them in the tomb. He had risen from the dead. Thank you, Mr. Jason. When these women got to the tomb, can you imagine their surprise? I wonder what they were thinking. Were they thinking, who is this guy? Or why are his clothes so bright? But they found the angel in an empty tomb. Do you know what they didn't find? Jesus, he wasn't there. What would you say if you saw an angel and you knew he was an angel? Make sure to post it in the comments below. I'm really curious. The angel had a message. He said, tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And that's what we should do too, right? Tell people that Jesus is alive. He died to take our punishment on him. Things that we do wrong have to be punished, right? So Jesus took those wrongs on himself and showed his power over death by coming back to life, rising from the grave. Wow, this really shows me what an awesome God we have, that he could conquer death. Make sure you share the real reason for Easter it's not about the eggs. It's about a Savior who conquered death. Let's pray. 
Dear Lord, thank you so much that you took our sins, our bad doings on yourself because you love us so much and you went to the cross and died for our sins. But Lord, that's not the end of the story. You rose from the grave to show your power over death. Lord, we thank you for that. We can't ever thank you enough, but we love you, Lord, and thank you for loving us. I want to keep praying for our family members and our friends. Maybe we haven't gotten to see in a while. Pray for those that are sick. And Lord, we just ask that you would um, give us each a special blessing this Easter um, and that more people would come to know you. Help us share our faith, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Miss you guys. Bye!